in this video i'll show you how you can design an id card and then you proceed to printing for people and businesses for you to make money you will to subscribe now once you open your pixel app, app this is what you are going to get so now let's delete this text now you have done that the first thing you need to do is to input the size of your id card you know we have a portrait id card and we have a landscape but in this tutorial i'll show you how to design in landscape now let's go the normal size the standard size for id card the standard size is 640 by 480 So once you input uh, the standard size which is 640 by 480 for an id card you click ok this is the size now so we start by creating our template the color we want to use and other details so this one i'll be using a sample of our school id card so here we have green cream color red and our test color we go for ranging from red to white and red and black so now let's start the first color which is cream uh, now the standard the normal color from the background that's color you select color and then you, you you create your color by clicking on the addition button now you pick the color directly you try to locate the color now it's something like this once you click uh you select the right color here is the color i used so you start the next thing we have another layer create another layer which is a rectangle spread it across the screen and move it upward adjust it to something like halfway halfway then you select the color for it let's use green don't forget you can use this to set your safety lines like the grid line then you create the edges the safety line so that when you print you won't have issue with test getting missing or cut out from your main design so this is how to just create something to just maintain the actual face of the of the id card now that's not where i'm going right now the color you are using for this one you select green let's go for green Aha. that's it now we need another layer we need another layer that's green as well try to pin down this one lock it to avoid any issue so select shape and create a tiny layer a rectangular layer so here is it you move it downward a bit somewhere here now you select the color go to color click color and use the last color we use which is green uh, that's it now we need to actually put where our passport will be before we give it another set of or let's bring in the picture directly now i'll be bringing in the logo of the school and the passport for the uh, for the person that owns this id card so i'll be using some samples let me use this logo import import you click import and then you select the Here is now logo. You click OK. Now this logo that I have selected, it is in, it is in square, uh, a rectangular shape. So what I can do to manipulate that is to select a circular shape, and then I bind bind it and match together. Now bring it to the front part. Reduce the size. Reduce the size of the main logo. So you balance to the center and also the second shape. You balance that as well to the center. Now you're having something close. You can increase a bit. let me erase the color so that you know, select erase color and remove the white 
now that you've removed the white you see we can then adjust to the size of this circle as you want let me adjust a bit again so that's it now set it to the center and adjust with the circle the center of it for the circle Here's the center of it now we match the two together by selecting this we click on this one we select we tick the boxes and then we select this and then click on are you sure you want to have match yes you click ok now that you've matched together you can now adjust to the part you do and you see Bring it here. Let's use our grid lines to know if we are not going beyond our boundary. Yeah, it works well here. It works well here. Okay. The next thing now is the picture of the person that will hold. Uh, it should be something like this. It should be something like this. The passport size should be like that that's where the passport will be but now i'll just input any image so here i'll select the texture for the shape if you're done typing just click on done and then okay now here is the test we just brought in we need to adjust it let's give it alignment first before our color align to the center so we give it white color color where is color select color and pick white here is it this is how it should be reduce the size if it's not well written okay, let's go for 12 and then font Let's use Montserrat. Medium. Montserrat medium. So you have to adjust very well. It should not pass the grid line. So move it backward. Yeah, that means our passport needs to shift a bit to the left. Yeah. Correct. See now. We need to shift this one to for the adjustment we made correct so now we have another part so you don't need to select font again you use this font except you want to use a bold font select and copy for us to put our next test on this red line which is valid till so 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 session let's say valid till 20 25 to 2026 session delete this one valid Once you've written that, click OK. Adjust to the part it should be. Can you see? You can use your grid line as a guide. Perfect. So, the next thing is the name and other information. And that one will be here. This part. Yeah. So, I'll be very fast there. You don't need to just follow the normal procedure we've used earlier for this one. Now click on this and copy again. But here we want to use we want to use a bolder font. So let's change the color to black. Color to black. This is the black, but we need a bold font. So we go back to our font, Montserrat bold. Montserrat bold. Yeah, that's it. But here we are editing the test. To make it what we want the name of the candidate or student is it okay now carry it off take it off gently increase the size a bit it's okay at 14 balance to the left is starting point of that line yeah that's okay copy again
so the next stage now is to input another rectangle and that one will be at the left hand side here can you see it should be in the same size with your passport once you are done move the uh the passport to the front to cover some part of it can you see adjust it very well and then you write uh, your undergraduate on this a uh, student id and then the second one for undergraduate which the two will be in red color here yeah, undergraduate will be here so fill the color select color activate it that's red this one red as well color activate it red so that's how it is so what we are writing on it now is the test so I'll do this undergraduate now by clicking on test. Okay, let's use the font we are using earlier. And that's Montserrat Bold. Just copy that, copy it, edit, and then you write student. Increase the size and change the color. Color is white white color now we need to rotate it go to rotate and then you move until you have the right angle for it correct so tick the part and put it on it like this so this student id then the second one is undergraduate you can just copy that one as well copy it once you copy it, you are just back to the normal angle, which is zero. Let's check if it's correct. Yes, that's zero. Put it here and edit. Click edit. Delete it. And write on. You are good to go mind you if you don't subscribe to this youtube channel it may be very difficult for you to know how to market your skill so i'll bring another uh another video in which we explain how you can use this skill to make money online by pitching your tent uh using content marketing to get your audience informed about the skill you have that you can help them to do or create amazing id card for their businesses so the back of this id card is very simple and i will not spend much time on that let's move to the back design but before you do that you need to save save this design either as a project or as image if you save as image it should be in the highest dimension possible so that will be ultra ultra you click ultra again and then you save to gallery you save to gallery so let's move to the second part which is the back side of your design Don't forget the size must still be, the, uh, be retained that is you use 640 by 480 that is the size of id card in pixels so to design an id card use 640 by 480 now our grid lines we should use that again for our back view this place i will not be talking much because this comprises only of text and some little little issues so it is only the part where you need to input the signature that i will explain to you so now i will I will use my text then after inputting all the text I will just use the opportunity to explain to you how to use uh, the paste paste what you've written down that is the rules and policy that guide this ID card so don't worry I will show you what to do at the end information you have at the back first thing then the next thing is this and then the next thing is this and then you set other things in as well can you see so that's how you, you you get it in you type them and place it where it should be to to save our time i'll go straight to the other details you need <coughs> that, that may give you issue now here we have 
registrar the registrar should sign so they've gotten the signature and they've input it as an image into the computer now let's say you are designing for designing for one business and then the person has given you the signature this is what you do you input import your image the image of the signature the person will, will put it on paper and then you follow this process so click on import now this is the image i've input my image you see that it is on paper now you go to erase color once you select erase color activate it and then you select this color picker click it and then pick the paper aspect of it tick the box and then click addition button again just like removing a background you select this again and then you bring it where you want it to remove now this is it then you can place it where the signature is meant to be although this is not the signature of the registrar and you must be very careful when dealing with id cards it's a, it's a very confidential or document or item that must be handled with care so this one is just how to input the signature you can so the date issue you can type that in uh, manually and that is it but now let's say this kind of uh, the kind of id card you are creating is about using barcode as the identification or the 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 the, the main thing to make it uh valid now let's say it is a code that you are giving each of your id card let's say the code is 22887766 once you input this number now we want to turn it into a barcode so how to turn a back uh, a number to a barcode or any information to a barcode is just by using your font so to get this font you need to uh reach out to me by using the link in this video to get across to me on my uh the, the platform we are using on whatsapp so you go to my font and then you select this you see so there is no name here but although if you reach out to me i'll show you or you can even search directly on google if you are very very curious to know what the name is or that you don't want to reach out you just want to get the font all by yourself so google have a font site where you can get this barcode font for free so that one is just simple now that's the end of our video you should subscribe to this youtube channel 